guys, as you can see, we're getting started. I figured since Xavier's younger, I'd throw him underneath the table to start working on the boats underneath. I would just come up behind them and start grabbing everything, put it in a bag for later use. That way we don't lose any parts. Next step, we're loosening any screws that hold the pockets to the table. Okay, here we enlisted some help. We lift up all the rails, turned it over, laid it back onto the pool table. Now we're able to remove the bows that hold the pockets onto the rails. We're setting them aside for later use. So now we're gonna start on the rails. We start off by removing all the staples that hold the felt on. Right here, I'm showing you guys how the felt is actually folded on the end of the bumpers. Um, it's folded, stapled, folded again, then stapled. If you're going to reuse any cushion facings, or feather stripping, now's the time to be careful when you remove it, not to break or crack anything. Since we're replacing all the felt, we decided to replace the bumpers as well. So here we're taking off the old bumpers and the old cushion facings. I'm actually putting new thicker cushion facings so I'm not worried about using mine again. In case you're wondering, we're gonna use contact cement to glue on the new table cushions. I found it easier for me to hold the table cushion up while my son put contact cement on the rail and the cushion itself before we laid it down. We put the new piece of felt on the top of the rail. We reused the feather stripping, pressed it in, you cut the excess, fold it over, then you staple the backside. Tuck the sides like I showed you earlier, and then staple it again. So here, we're taking off all the staples on the old felt. All right, guys, um, as you can see, uh, we just finished taking off all the old felt. Um, what we're gonna do real quick is just kind of clean it off and kind of refill the hose with some beeswax and get the surface area ready, prepped to um, accept the new felt. All right, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, okay, guys, this next step is uh, filling in the drill hose with uh, some beeswax. What we're going to do this is we're going to melt it with a blowtorch, it'll drip in and dry up and harden the holes just to make it flat. At this point, we found it easier that once we put the beeswax into the hose 
to let it cool down for a little bit and then use as sharp of a blade as possible to kind of slice it clean. If you have any little dips, you can always go back and melt a little bit more beeswax in there and do it again, scrape it again. We found this to work really well for us. We're removing any kind of old spray adhesive that's on the table. We're using Goof Off to remove it. Since one of the slates was uneven, we went ahead and fixed that now. We re-leveled the slates and now my son's putting a fresh coat of beeswax in between the seams. Now that everything is nice and clean and level, now we're going to start putting on the new felt. At this point, some felts have a top side and a bottom side, so make sure when you put your felt on that you are putting the top side up. Once the felt is on the table, nice and even all the way around, we start a stapling on one end. We stretched the felt as much as we can on the opposite end, stapled it. We worked from the center out. Then we worked one corner, stapled it, stretching it towards the center pocket, and then did the opposite side the same way. Then once we got to the corners, we were able to stretch any excess felt so everything was nice and tight. We decided to put a small piece of felt underneath where the pockets go to kind of hide the slate. This is just for an appearance. At this point, we enlisted some extra help. We put the rails and pockets back together. We flipped them over, put both sides on. Before we bolted anything down onto the table, we put the last two bolts on the side pockets to hold both ends of the rails together. Next step, tighten the bolts underneath the table, restaple the pockets to the table, and we're done. Okay guys, we just finished the uh, table. Uh, here's the final product over here. Everything's uh, just bolted in right now. Uh, we could wipe it off real quick, but now is the uh, time to test out the new felt. Let's check it out. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think so. we did a good job. I think so too. For our first time um, doing bumpers, rails, everything, I think we did a pretty good job. It looks good, it sounds good. Um, balls are moving around well, so I'm happy with it. You happy with I'm it? I'm real happy with All right. it. Well, I guess that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Mm -hmm. Got anything else? Don't forget that little bell right there for our weekly videos. And I'll see y'all next week. See y'all next week, guys. Bye.